hello guys and welcome to this new power bi tutorial in this video i'm going to create the following interactive dashboard using the ibm hr data set the link to download the data set and also the logo are available in the description and as you can see here we have several charts for the employees by different categories and fields for example we have employees by hourly rate employees by age gender education field job role department marital status and business travel the data set contains many fields and these are just some fields that you can use to create a dashboard which means that you can choose any other fields if you want to create another dashboard but before creating our dashboard let's first explore our data set so here if we click on table view as you can see here we have 1470 rows and here we have our fields we have continuous variables and we have categorical variables for example we have age the attrition so yes or no business travel same thing category daily rate the department distance from home education education field the employee count so this column we are going to use it to create all our chart since it give us one for each row then we have the employee number the environment satisfaction we have the gender hourly rate job involvement the job level job role same thing we're going to use also this column to create our chart job satisfaction marital status and we have the monthly income monthly rate and also here we have number of companies worked over 18 so all of them are over 18 years old over time so here we have yes or no same thing person salary hike performance rating relationship satisfaction we have standard hours so most of them like i have 80 stock option level total working years so this is the experience training times last year work-life balance okay years at the same company years in current role years since last promotion and years with the current manager so now i'm going to import our data set and create our charts here i created a new file and to get our data we click on get data we select text csv and we import the ibm data set so we click on load okay so now if we click here we have all the fields to create our dashboard so the first chart it will be employees by hourly rate and we click on here clustered column chart we put it in here so on the x-axis we are going to select hourly rate and on the y-axis we are going to select employee count all right now we are going to format our chart and we are going to duplicate it to create different charts do not format each chart by itself so first we start by the title we click in here general title so we have employees by hourly rate so bold and it will be black in center okay we'll go back to visual for the x-axis we are going to remove the title and the values bold black right same thing for the y-axis we we'll click on y-axis we we'll remove the title same thing for the values it will be black bold right for the grid lines we we'll select off off and we we'll go back to general effects visual border on so we select this blue color and round and corners we select 20 or if you want we can get back the title for the x-axis okay so if we go to the title we put on and we put it same thing in black and bold 
all right so here we have our first chart which represents the employees by hourly rate next to create the employees by age so we click on our first chart we copy and paste so put it in here all right and we go to the hourly rate so we remove it from the x-axis and we replace it by age we can also change the title so we have employees by age okay and as you can see here all the values start from 18 right so we click on the chart go to the x-axis and the minimum it will be 18 all right so like that to get our second chart next for employees by education field same thing we copy this one paste it put it in here and we are going to change it into the clustered bar chart so we remove the hourly rate and we are going to put the education field into the y-axis same thing we are going to format that first to remove the title from the y-axis and we are going to add the labels so there are labels on and it will be bold in black so here we can change the sizes a little bit put it this way go to decrease this one this one in here same thing decrease the width decrease the width like that here's for this one same thing okay here we are going to go back to format in and for the y-axis so we increase the maximum width to get all the values all right okay, decrease this one also a little bit next we have employees by job role so same thing we click on this one copy paste we put it here okay decrease this one a little bit all right and for both of them we need to change the title so the first one it is education field so we go here general the title it will be education field and here we have the job role okay so if we go back to here instead of education field we put the job role all right you can also increase the width so go back to y-axis and you increase the maximum width until you get the full text in here okay so we can put it like 40 all right 39 or 40 okay you can put it like that same thing for this one next we have employees by business travel so we click on the first one we copy paste we can put it in here okay and we remove hourly rate we replace it by business travel okay so for the title on the x-axis it will be off it will be also for the font put it as 8 same thing we change the title so we have employees by business travel and also again we to add the labels so visual the their labels on and it will be black and bold all right the next bar chart it will be employees by department so we click copy paste put it in here and for the title we put it 
employees by department and same thing we are going to remove business travel and we put department okay so we go back in here next we are going to create two donut charts one for the gender and the other for marital status so click on this one copy paste you can put it in here right for visualizations we are going to select the donut chart instead of department we are going to select the gender so i'm going to format that first the title it would be employees by gender for the labels it will be category and percent of total right and also i'm going to remove the legend right I'm going to do the same thing for the multi status copy this one paste put it in here and instead of gender we are going to put the marital status we're going to change the title so we have the title marital status and i'm going to change the slices so we can put first one then the second one and here we have all the colors in blue okay so the last thing that we are going to do is we are going to import the ibm logo so click on insert here we have add an image and we are going to add the borders so select effects visual border on it will be in blue and same thing select 24 rounded corners okay so like that we get our ibm hr dashboard and as you can see it is an interactive dashboard so when you select one field we get the corresponding values for each category okay same thing if we click in here if we select divorced for example married single okay for example male female etc okay so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial